All right, time for uh, look at sports. Myers here. My. Well, Hudson, the town of Shawnigan Lake is being transformed into the triathlon capital of Canada for the annual kickoff of the Subaru Western Triathlon Series. The Sunday Shawnigan Lake Triathlon will feature elite athletes and weekend warriors testing themselves on some of the world's most beautiful terrain. And among them, 21st timers from Shawnigan Lake School who can't wait to get their feet wet. We were like, why not, right? Just it's a new thing, so. It's kind of just jump on board. They're well known for their excellence on the rugby pitch, but Shawnigan Lake School is also contributing to the island's triathlon talent pool. I was like, let's do it. Really? Yeah. I haven't done too much. I've done all the events separately, never put them together. Oh, it's beautiful. It so was warm. a presentation by Shawnigan Lake Triathlon race director Sarah Mallerby that piqued the interest of these three students. We went to present them with a plaque of appreciation for helping us with the event and as a result so many of them got interested in triathlon. And after watching a video starring Canada's most famous triathlete, they were sold. The group came to our uh, school and showed us a video of Simon Whitfield finishing and that really inspired me to try to do it. And that really inspired me like Seeing something like that, and doing a sport like field hockey is completely different to triathlon. Triathlon is more mental, and I just want to do something different. So we'll see how this goes. Of the 20 Shawnigan Lake students inspired to give triathlon a shot, 19 of them have signed up for the sprint or sprint relay distances. Let's do this. Grade 12 student Aaron Wamsley yeah. decided to dive in head first and tackle the Olympic event. You've never done this before. No. Call what? me crazy, but my dad, his first. You know, bike and run race where everyone's you know all decked out in gear you know thousand dollar bikes and everything here comes out just with the bare minimum he comes in first and I just and I will never forget that story and just how that really inspires me just get out there in no matter what conditions no matter you know what equipment and just finish and have fun beautiful thanks to the local Absolutely. sports community the Shawnigan Lake students haven't had to worry about poor equipment a lot of our um, elite athletes down from down in Victoria have lent out their wetsuits for them I know some of the local local bike shops have actually been getting together bikes that, to lend them for riding on the race with such support from nearby business and the Wait, excitement the from morning. the students Coach Jim Kingstone is looking to develop a comprehensive triathlon program in the fall. With a group of 20, for instance, I think we're going to see some, you know, greater interest and uh, interest through the year. So students will be bringing their bikes back after the summer and will commit to developing a, a training program that will support the uh, triathlon at the end of May. Big youth movement in triathlon. A lot of support here uh, on program. Vancouver Island as well from Sondra Subaru. And Great inspiration from a guy on a bike too who's doing well, huh? Uh, oh yeah, Ryder Hedgedal, not yeah. too bad. Poised to like possibly win the Giro by the end of the weekend. So imagine so that. All right, my thank you. You're welcome.